Hi, this is Stuart, and we're going to go through how to set up Unit Lab for CCNA and beyond. Um, working from this URL here, and I'll post that in the, uh, the video details. Um, first step is some prerequisites. We have we need VMware, we need FileZilla, and we need to download Unit Lab. And as you can see, I've just downloaded the OVA for Unit Lab here. Current version is 1.008, and now we're going to import it into VMware. So we start off, import, choose a file, downloads, open. Continue, and we're going to call it URL CCNA. So, that'll take a few moments to import. As you can see, there is a license agreement, and we click on accept. Obviously, you should read that first, and it imports. as you can see is very quick and very very easy there we go all right, we're just going to customize the settings. We are going to give it eight gig, and we'll give it we'll give it two cores. Most importantly, click on Advanced Options, and we need to enable the hypervisor. Otherwise, we cannot run QEMU or other images within it. Close that. One other thing is the network adapter. We want to share it with the Ethernet adapter. Now we can fire it up. As you can see, all these bits are outlined in the document. It'll take a few moments to boot up and then we'll see this rather nice screen. Okay, as you can see it's got an IP address and this is exactly what I'm looking for. It's on my own network, it's not being not being matted or anything, and uh, we log in with root and the password of UNL. So, yeah, this is the initial setup. So, we can type in UNL, type it again, and we just can press return, press return, leave on DHCP. I'm not using NTP, so just press return. I have a direct connection to the internet, so I'll just press return again, and it's just going to do a reboot and apply these settings. Okay, so now we should be able to go to and there we can see our unit map. So we log in with admin and a password of UNL. And we can save that. So at the moment there are no labs. What we're going to do is create a new folder, call it CCNA and beyond. Just to be pedantic. Add. Now we can add our labs. 
to get the labs, go to CCNA and beyond. See my menu's not working for some reason. I will fix that, but we can get them from the forum. That's annoying. Okay, so head over to the forum, files for CCNA and beyond, and we are just going to download these. And there's the pro most of the book is built up from the main lab, and then there's a separate chapter for the troubleshooting. So we're going to go back to here, and we'll go to actions, import external labs, we to go to browse, and we're going to import the main one import and then we're going to import browse select the troubleshooting one and import again before we can start the labs we need to make sure that we have the correct images and the images I'm using here are a layer 3 switch and a layer 2 switch or sorry a layer 3 router allowed to switch. If you're looking for these, you can search for Google and you can find them quite easily. So I've actually already download, downloaded these, so I will now copy them over using FileZilla. For root UML and we specify the port number as 22. Always trust this host. Now put them in opt unit lab, unit lab even, uh, add ons, IOL, bin. As you can see, I've downloaded them here already and we'll just copy them over. There we go. Before we can actually use these, we need a file called IOURC. Now, to get that, we need to do a little bit of a Google. As you can see, the first hit is this one here on GitHub. And that's basically the file that we need. Copy link address. Now I'm going to go to item, or you can use any other program that supports SSH. We're going to do SSH root at 192.168.1.104. Trust the key. Enter a password UNL. Then do wget. And again, this is all. slight error in here, so we will try it again. Here we go. So to ls we can now see cisco keygen.py and we will do mod plus x cisco keygen.py and that just makes it executable. You can then run it. And these are the two lines 
that we need. So we will do echo and copy that bit. Square bracket. Unit lab add ons IOL in IOURC. We then need to put the second file in. So echo. Open the quote marks. Place that in the next line. Close the quote marks. Then we do two square brackets, and that just means append it. Now we do cat opt unit lab add ons IOL in IOURC. We can see that it's got the two lines that we need. Before we start anything, let's do a quick update. Update. Quick drink of coffee. It's always a good idea to run this periodically, just to make sure you're running with all the latest versions. As you can see there, it says set up unit lab and the minor version is 10. We are running uh, wrong one. status. We're running 10. So occasionally you'll see this update. Right there, so that's all finished. So Good. I'm going to open this. You might want to just make it a little bit bigger. Let's move things about a little bit. Sometimes it can get a little bit crunched. Okay, so we've come through all the updates. We imported the labs earlier. And now we can start them up. So right click on it, click on start. And you should see up here, see it started. If you don't do the IURC file, the icon will turn from a black square to a black triangle and then it will go back to a black square. So do make sure you do the IOURC file. Then you can see, we can start everything up like this. Another way to do it, click on nodes, and you can start them up. 
do this. As you can see, I have stopped. Right, they stopped. Sometimes it's just easier to do it like this. They're staying as running. I haven't gone back to stopped, which is a good sign. And there we go. That is how to get started for CCNA and beyond. You can get the book on Amazon. Uh, it's on Kindle. It's in paperback. And I wish you all the very best. Good luck with your studies. Thanks.